We're just having a little celebration and happy Friday here. Welcome to the first ever Make the Eight Train Awards. This is an award that happens for the most outstanding work on the Make the Eight Train math task. Before we begin the awards, I want to tell you that Make the Eight Train comes from a song called Take the A Train that was made a long time ago by a man named Duke Ellington and his orchestra. I thought of the name because I was going to use the number eight already and uh, using the Cuisinaire rods to make eights. So uh, let's get to the work. Several things I want to show you. This work right here is done by a student who maybe you know. His name is Test One and he likes Star Trek a lot. So congratulations, this is Mr. Gonzalez's work. And um, he did a thing that I thought was very interesting. First of all, he has a plausible answer. That means this could be the answer. And the reason that we think it could be the answer is not because it's a high number or anything. Some of you just guessed high numbers, but because he did this work, he was organized and he, you see there's one eight, uh, eight ones here. This work here, this work alone would get him a three probably. Later on, like in the next activities, we're gonna require more words, a bigger explanation. But for what we're doing right now, he has a clear answer, a plausible answer, and some, um, some work. But what I really love, the thing that pushed this over the line, is then he was meticulously, he went through the work, is very organized. So his data and his thinking are organized. That's really what we're looking for in these first lessons. Besides the colors are beautiful, you know I like colors. And so um, he went through and he found all the combinations that he could find. I think he missed some, we can look at that later. And then here's the rubric that he left on the paper, which I read later it was the wrong rubric. So sorry about that, Mr. G. Um, here's another one. This one's by my friend Brianne. And you're gonna see some of the same elements, except for she had an extra. This is an assignment for me, because she wanted to tell me that she did too, but this is an explanation. It's not a perfect explanation, but it goes a long way talk about talking about what she did. So looking down here, I copied this from something I'm gonna show you in a minute. And this is the same thing that we just saw on Mr. G's, okay? It comes from this spreadsheet that she made and she attached just the same. When you uh, turn in your work, you can submit it the same. And you can see, so she started with the, though just the ones and then one, and then she did this. This is kind of laborious. That means it took a lot, but she was meticulous in trying not to miss things. So maybe I can show you this. Let's see if I can move that over. She used all this. I have some questions about her organization here, but she picked those up, um, and so it makes a, her work makes a lot of sense, and I can tell there's just a lot of effort into it. You can see some of the colors got really dark. That happened to me too. The last thing I want to show you, well, one of the last things, this one's my favorite. Um, I think this is exemplary work right here. This is belongs to my friend Charlie, and she said the answer is 122, which is interesting because. That's even more than I got, and I was pretty confident in mine, but now I'm not. I'm almost more confident in hers. She has uh, an explanation that explains what she did and how the numbers fit together and the pattern she noticed. This is me. I tried to cross this up, and I couldn't do it. Um, you see everybody, I'll just show you here. Um, this is a comment I make telling her why it got the score she did, and then this is the score. So this is the part that I think was the hokey pokey. That's what it's all about. This part here, you can see really clearly how she got each of her answers. And some of you are saying, well, I'm not going to do all that work. And then I'm going to say, well, you're not ever going to get a four. Because the object is to do your best work, right? Do the work that you can in pursuit of the answers. Don't give up. But so many of you on your reflection said, no, I didn't give up. And I think, who are you kidding? Right? When this is what somebody does to find the answers and you come up with 30 answers and you, you gave up, you didn't try your hardest. So I encourage you, if Charlie can do it, 
If uh, Brianne can do it, then you can do it. This is the last one I'll show you. This one's mine. Um, and like I said, I was fairly confident in this 115 until I saw Charlie's. I got this idea from my friend Evelyn, who was talking about main, the main numbers. So I went through here, and you could see the same thing in Mr. Gonzalez's, stated a little differently, but the same idea. I figured there's only one way using the eight as the biggest one. With seven as the biggest number, there's two ways. Of course, seven, one, and one, seven. I'll show you that. Six plus two, six plus one plus one, five plus three. So I tried to use the biggest numbers I could first, and I don't think I missed any, but of course it's possible. Now you see over here, necessary for a score of four uh, explanation, and we're gonna be pushing more into words and numbers later. So I just explained what I did. You can see here, I took a screenshot of my Jamboard because this was a lot of thinking. Even I ran out of room for the, the uh, reds and the ones and twos together. And then this is what I think you need, you need to have to get a four. These are the numbers. You saw me allude to it. This part, don't really worry about. But um, here's my work here, and it all adds together to 115. So the last thing I want to do is share with you these awards. I've decided that um, I'm going to print these certificates up. Maybe not these exact ones. I'm going to work on them this weekend and I ordered some frames and so I will give Mr. Gonzalez a, a Golden Locomotive Award, congratulations sir, as well as my friends Brianne and my friend Charlie. So congratulations for them to, for doing this great work. And now um, next week we're going to be going into testing and also the last thing I want to work with you today if you're here, if you're home, um, then hopefully we already worked on it. Uh, is to get onto Dreambox. So that's what I have today. Have a terrific weekend.